Okay, I'm going to go through the answers for the 2.6 uh, to 2.7 quiz. Um, so question number one, we're looking at these five different diatomics. Um, and then we want to say, um, want to figure out which one has one sigma and two pi bonds. Well, one sigma and two pi bonds means it's a triple bond. So after you do the, the Lewis dot diagrams for all these, um, N2 is the only one that has a triple bond. Um, O2 has a double bond and the rest are all single bonded. So that means your choice is going to be letter C, N2. All right, question two, we have the same five diatomics. Um, question here is which one has a bond order of two? So that's going to be oxygen. Oxygen has a double bond. Um, so choice D right there. Number three, uh, same five diatomics again. Uh, which one has the largest bond association energy? So that means um, it's asking for which one is the strongest bond. So with nitrogen having the uh, triple bond, that's going to be your strongest bond. So it's going to be choice C and two. Number four, the geometry of the SO3 molecule is best described as. Uh, we want to figure out which one of those shapes we have. So we'd want to draw out the dot structure. So the dot structure would look like this. You'd have sulfur in the middle, three double bonds, and two lone pairs on each oxygen. So three bonds, zero lone pairs on the center atom. That means it's trigonal planar, letter A. Question five. Um, which of the following Lewis dot structures represents the molecule with the smallest bond angle? So let's just go through all four of them here. So letter A, that's going to be uh, four bonds. So that's going to be tetrahedral with a bond angle of 109.5. Um, letter B, um, this is going to be trigonal pyramidal with three bonds and one lone pair. So that's going to be less than 109.5 because the lone pair will squeeze the bonds here a little bit closer together. Uh, letter C, here we have three bonds, no lone pairs. That's trigonal planar. That means that's a 120 degree bond angle. And letter D, now we replace uh, one of those bonds with a lone pair. So this is going to be less than 120. So the smallest bond angle, that's going to be B less than 109.5. Number six, uh, this one's about hybridization. We want the hybridization of the carbon atoms. So each carbon atom has, has four single bonds. That's four effective pairs. That means it's sp3, letter C. Number seven, hybridization on the, the carbon atom. So each carbon atom has a triple bond and a single bond. So that's two effective pairs. That means it's A, S, P. And question eight, the last one. Um, we want the before and after hybridization for carbon. So uh, before the reaction, carbon has three effective pairs. Each carbon has three effective pairs. So that's going to be S, P, two hybridization. But after, um, we have four single bonds. For each of those carbons. So that's going to be sp3 hybridization. So it's sp2 before, sp3 after. So that's going to be letter D. All right, and that's all for your quiz.